Hey guys, this is Deserter Reptile 98. It's gonna be kind of weird because I'm taking you to my bathroom, but um, I have a good reason because it's an enclosed area uh, where I can show you a little bit of training I do. It's not always in the bathroom. It's not even, this is actually the first time I tried it in the bathroom, uh, but I like it in the bathroom because it's small. He can get a, my iguana. Uh, oh yeah, let me tell you what this is. This is an iguana taming type video, I guess. So I'm going to hit strap you on my neck real quick. Make sure everything's set. Okay. Now, uh, before I get started, let just see where I can wrap this. Okay, can't do that there. Can't do that there. Okay, well, I'll just let it hang. But anyways, guys, yeah. So I'm going to go in. My iguana's in there somewhere. I uh, heard him scratching on the door, so he might be somewhere in this area. Oh, there he is. So I'm going to close the door just for his safety. That way he can run around all crazy, and then I scare him even more. Um, but this is Sidon. If you don't know him, this is Sidon, the iguana. Um, I turn on the heater, and I put it there so just in case maybe he wants to warm up or something. Yeah, I put it there. And, uh, yeah, there he is. He's Sidon, named after a Star Wars character. Sidon Ithano, and uh, yeah. So he's not so crazy, he's not so wild and stuff. I think he's just an aggressive male, and uh, he needs to be tamed up. So what I like to do is use food. Uh, I like to tame, see he's like a little freaked out. He's not crazy, you know what I mean? He's not trying to showing aggression or nothing like that but he is a uh, pretty pretty wild so I'm gonna sit down here and hopefully nobody walks in at me and that'll be weird okay so I got food here with me and I'm gonna use food as a tool to get him to trust me because that's all I need is to break that trust uh, not break that trust gain that trust from him and uh, that would be that would be the best. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just, like show off the food like I'm doing. I'm gonna take a smaller piece. I'm gonna lay I'm gonna lay these out on the floor right there, like he can get to them, and then I'm gonna take them away. Cause you know I caught his interest. And uh, I'm gonna cut these right in front of him. You know, throw it in front of him. But I'm not gonna give him any of it yet. See, he, he's moving away. So I'm going to stain my hand, I'm going to extend my hand towards him, I don't know if you guys can see that, get you positioned, extend my hand, I'm going to take a piece, let him eat it off my hand, this is all about slowness and patience, this might be a 20 minute video, honestly don't care, so I'm going to extend my hand, he doesn't trust me, it's okay, I don't trust you either, look he's walking around, he knows the food is closer to this hand, so I'm gonna extend my hand this way. Look at that, it just takes it right off my hand. And that's because I have a bunch of these right here, so I'm gonna put them closer to me. And uh, so I'm gonna just throw one right there. Actually, I'm gonna grab this piece right here, let it meet it off my hand again. What you guys see? See, he's trying to get my hand now because little confused. See this? This is food, buddy. So I'm gonna just, uh, just try and get my hand. <laughs> Hold on, Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Don't get my hand now. So I'm gonna extend my hand with food. Okay? I'm gonna get him this way. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. So he's hungry. Okay? So now he's going to try to get my hand, and that's something you should be very careful of, because iguanas have a strong bite. Okay, come on, you see this one? You see this one? You see this one? Come on. That's, that's my hand, buddy, that's my hand. There you go, come on. See? That's kind of scary when you associate food with your hand, especially with uh, meat-eating reptiles, it's kind of scary. So I'm just going to show him, I'll take my hand away, 
how am I rubbing, I'm rubbing his little stomach so he knows he's on my hand, he's kind of curious see, so now he's completely on my hand I can actually lift him up and his nails are really sharp oh my god, oh, that's my jacket bam, he's on my hand look what progress I made in just less than what, 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes less, that's 5 minutes, 25 seconds now but he scratched himself pretty pretty bad because uh, he's been trying to get at the blue iguana and he's scared of the camera so I'm gonna put this away Okay, so um, his reward for being on my hand is more food. So I'll let you guys see that. Just cut a piece in piece. And then hand feed him. And I pet him a little bit. Hand fed him and I pet him a little bit. As you can see. See, he's not so bad anymore, right? Little, little, still there. See if he'll do it again. Now this is dangerous, uh, not like like uh, injury wise. It is very dangerous of dealing with male iguanas because males are really aggressive. And this is actually a male iguana. Uh, he, <clears throat> and not just because he's red, it's because uh, he is. Uh, well, not because he's red, because uh, his spikes on the f right here. Oops, sorry. Sorry, buddy. Well, his spikes are larger in the front, so now he's see, he's freaked out again. Okay, so I gotta just let his t take his time, let him do his own thing. It just takes time, really, man. It's just a little bit of patience. In a week, you probably win him over. See, see, he knows I have food. He knows I have food. So, see, he's a little cautious on me. Maybe the cameras. Coming near me. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna let him pass by. I'm just gonna keep watching him. Get my food real quick. I'm gonna let him explore a little while. Ain't nothing dangerous around here. Let me just switch positions. Maybe a little scared, but. There you go. We got the heater going. So soon he'll uh, get cold. Oh, there's, there's my food. Gotta hide my food. Here. See that? Oh. What progress. And he's pretty He's pretty crazy. Uh, I don't know if it's because it's breeding season. I always blame it on the breeding season. But um, I don't live in the tropic, tropical area, so I can't really say it's breeding season. Okay. That's my toilet. So I'm just gonna, there you go, I get the camera, I get my both hands. I'm gonna let him come to me this time. Good boy, good boy. See him emphasizing a lot of movement, that way he gets used to it, but the reward for my movement is some food. I don't know if you guys saw that shit, you guys didn't see that. Sorry about that guys. Nope, you can't get that one. Nope, you can't get this one either. Sorry bud. So now I have him right here. He's a little scared of the camera. Show him the food. I let him come to me. He eats it. As he eats it, I pet him a little bit. Sorry for the camera, I'm kind of keeping an eye on him so he doesn't bite me or nothing. Because then you'll have a taming video into a iguana bite video. And uh, for some reason I do this to iguanas, like just go like that. And they sometimes like chill out, I don't know why. Well for me at least, the iguanas I've dealt with. So I'm just going to get a little piece more food. You want, you want some of this? Gonna take a good chunk of however much he wants. Then I'm gonna take my chunk, split that into two or three, maybe. 
So I'm going to do this. I have big hands so I could just kind of emphasize a lot of movement and then I'll pet him a little bit. It, it's kind of depends on what your situation is, you know what I mean? How you how you're going to react to things. Uh, mine is more interested in food than he is my hands. And then he's kind of thinking my hands are food, see? I'm going to let him. <laughs> That's kind of bad too if I associate my hands with food. So that's what what that's what when petting comes into play. I just like to let them know these are my fingers and like just scratch them a little bit. Sorry, sorry buddy. I kinda do that too. Because when they're uh, aggressive, this dewlap will extend all the way and they'll open their eyes more and they'll make direct contact uh, to the person and when it's, uh, oh sorry see the movement is what kind of gets them so I'm just going to associate the movement with petting try this out a little bit he has a little scar right here too and you know, you need to tame your iguanas too because uh, like say this and this got infected right there how am I gonna get him to the vet or how am I gonna see or uh, put the ointment or whatever I need on him, you know so you gotta take other things into consideration and uh, how you treat your animals and uh, why you want to tame them and stuff not just for your enjoyment but also for their health as well you know so uh, always keep that in mind break some lettuce into small pieces and they'll just get smaller and smaller as they go and then he'll trust me more so I got my hand now moving it around but then I show him this little piece right here come on, come on. Get, him, get his face to turn this way get another piece just try to move my hand around see he's a little little iffy and what you don't want to do is keep on persisting and persisting him because then he'll just get more fear for you like if I tr go try to reach for him right now you know he's he's probably gonna like uh, whack me with his tail or bite me or I don't know what he's planning to do and hopefully he's not dumb and to go right on top of the heater my other one is pretty smart at it. so right now he's just observing everything just realizing where it's at And yeah, what you want to do is just keep on, don't, a lot of people say, oh, it's good if you pick him up a lot. It's good if you pick him up, that way he gets used to you picking, picking him up. I mean, yeah, I mean, he'll get used to you and picking you up, but I mean, if he has a bad day, just like all of us, they have bad days, you know what I mean? So if he has a bad day and he doesn't want you to pick him up and he's hungry or something, he'll, he'll bite you, he'll bite you. I mean, yeah, you pick him up, but he'll bite you. You never know, man. You never know uh, what the cost is on dealing with iguana aggression or even just reptile aggression you know iguanas uh, are seem to be uh, everybody looks at them as like beginner pets or beginner reptiles and that is not the case uh, just because a lot of people have them in captivity you know what I mean and that's bad see he going somewhere I don't want him to go it's to the plunger and stuff like that so. I'm just gonna scare him off this way. Let me get him to move. Hmm. Come on. See, by doing that, you know, I'm making it worse, the situation worse. And did he just poop? No, he didn't. Go that way. Share my face first in the toilet. <laughs> Sorry for that, guys. Uh, yeah, my toilet's clean, but I mean, either way, you know, toilet's a toilet, you know. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get some more food, and this is the bone, actually. So, you can eat that when you're strong enough to eat that. Come on, I'm approaching. That's good, that is good. And you know, I have other iguanas that are not 
as cool as this, you know what I mean? I have other guans that, as soon as they see my hand, they'll try to bite it, or they'll smack the shit out of it. So, you know, it's all about experience, you know. Later on, you start seeing their behaviors and how they act, and you'll know, you'll read their body language. Because it's very hard to read a reptile's body language. They don't smile, they don't frown, they don't do nothing. You know? So you just gotta be on the lookout for that. This guy right here today. You could eat this one. Oh, there's some another. There you go. There you go, just like that. And I'm gonna move back. Take some food, bribe him this way. I drop it. Like, I'm leaving it to him. It's all about building up trust. So, see if I can get him to go this way. And the reason why I did this in the in the bathroom is because it's enclosed. He can't really run too far, or it's not a too big of an area where I have to go chase him, and then he'll get even more scared. See, see that right there? Showing aggressive. Right there. I'm just gonna let him do whatever he wants. But actually, you can't eat that. That's too big for you, buddy. Just a little bit scared. Ain't nothing right. Just the, that food right there. And with me, since I I known this guy for a while, you know, I get to pick him up and stuff more. So he's going somewhere. I don't know where he's going. There he goes. See, I'm just gonna cut this up real quick. You might think this is like an unsanitary place to do it, but I mean, uh, I mean, I didn't just take a shit in the toilet bowl and uh, vomit on the sink, and then I just brought them in here, you know what I mean? It's, I cleaned this today, so it's all good, you know what I mean? See, now he's just looking somewhere he could bask. He's just curious, maybe, maybe the heat. I don't know what he wants to do. Try to bribe him over here. Put this camera down. Okay, now he's coming towards me. This is a perfect example right here. Come here. Come here. So that was a horrible example, actually. Don't you want this food, man? Food is the best tool, man. You use it to your extent. You know, it's like a hammer, you know what I mean? You could use it however you want it. But, I mean, obviously there's a right way and wrong way to use a hammer. But, um... Alright, sorry about that. But yeah, there's a right way and the wrong way to use a hammer. But, um, this guy right here, um... This is, it's like, awesome progress. Like, I, I didn't even think I was going to get this far today. For him going on my hand, letting me pet him. And so, it's just, you can hand feed him a lot, man. See, he's kind of like, but he's like worried about like movement, you know what I mean? Me touching him. So I associate the food, and then I pet him. Okay, not something too aggressive where you pat him on the back and stuff. I just gently pet him, pet his doolap. Give him a little scratch on the skin area. I don't know if you can eat that or not. <laughs> Want another one? There you go. I might bring you a little closer. There you go. So she eat the food, then you pet it. 
food? Pet him. And after a while, do this every day, you become your best friend within a month. Because iguanas, honestly, they, I don't know what their memory's like, but for mine, their, their memory's not so good. You kind of forget things within the week. That's why it's good to do, train them every day. Hey, that's my finger, man. Yeah, see, you realize that. So now I can see. Hey. Look how tame he is now. His little cut there, I can check it out. See if it's critical. He'll heal. It's okay. That is okay. Look, inspect him. Look at his thing. When he's tame, when he's cool like that. See, right now he's getting a little agitated that I'm petting him too much, moving his stuff. So I could see maybe he has a cut in his foot. Maybe the other iguanas bit him or something. I could check it out, you know. That's why you need to tame your animals. That's what's good for you. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to make that sudden movement. Obviously, you want him so they don't bite the shit out of you every time you try to feed him, you know what I mean? Or to clean his cage or... You know, it makes it makes life easier for him and you as well. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, that's how I feed him. And this guy, he, he's kind of, he's kind of cool, dude. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna let him uh, jump on there because it's warm. Come on, right there. Yeah, there you go. There you go. And uh, yeah, man. Is do repeat this this every day food pet food keep him petting him it can work with any other animal as well as long as you have the patience to deal with them you'll be okay if he wants to eat those leaves he can if he wants. I don't think he will he doesn't like them but yeah this is my male here I was gonna say xanthic but this is my red iguana you can see I'm kind of touch his tail. Hopefully he doesn't freak out. But he has a dead, dead stuff right here. I gotta probably clip off. I've done it before. It doesn't really hurt him. It's just dead and he can't feel it. Yeah. He's still, he's still noticing me. He's like, whoa, what you up to? Why are you moving? There's nothing back there for him. Yeah, man, um, just work with him every day and uh, use food as a tool. That's pretty much it. Other than that, you have a tame iguana. And, um, yeah, as far as, you know, taming them with other iguanas, that's hard herb because, uh, you know, territory, you know, comes with a key. Even, like, dogs have a... Uh, don't go through there. Oh, you're gonna get stuck, buddy. Even dogs have an alpha, you know what I mean? So, I'll go ahead and grab him out of here. Make him feel like he's working at something. All right. Cause it's time to leave. Time to leave. Put him in his cage. I don't want him to get in too scared. So you can see he's aggressive. See that right there, his dual at? So I just gotta pet him. So everything's all right. That's pretty much it, Desert Reptile 98. Tune in next time. Oops.